Hi everybody, Alex Proyer from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at the progress that has been made on the Bell Trader. Now the Bell Trader was only launched a week ago and in the launch we gave some guide settings for you to use and the result of those guide settings is what we're going to be looking at today. Just a reminder, the bell has been launched for a week now. So the special launch prices are going to disappear in the next 24 hours. So if you are not already the proud owner of a bell trader, now's the time to make a decision. Okay, so here we are on the bell trader page. And I'm just going to scroll down to give you an idea of which settings we're talking about. And we scroll down. And the initial settings that we show here are the optimized settings. And optimized settings are often not reliable as they tend not to repeat very easily. So what we've been recommending is for owners of the Bell Trader to use the guide settings shown in the blue table. And there are 16 accounts in this table. And we are going to have a look at the results of those 16 accounts that have been trading just over one week. And to do that, we I click on that link there. Okay, and it opens up the portfolio of 16 accounts. Now, the first thing I must point out about this portfolio, it is being traded on a thousand dollar demo accounts. Because when we launch the Bell Trader, we want to make it accessible to smaller accounts. So $1,000 accounts, we've got 16 of them, and they have made a $671 profit, and there's open trades of 275 Nice, steady growth chart. And if we look at the currencies that have been traded, it's the Aussie New Zealand, the Euro pound and then the euro usd now those are all low volatility currencies that do not trend very easily now the election is basically tomorrow this, that could change for the euro usd but i've put that euro usd in there for a long-term evaluation normally at this time of the year i would not trade the euro usd so although it says the history is 16 days, you can see we opened demo accounts way before that and the history is in fact closer to six or seven trading days. So let's have a look at the portfolio. Firstly, it's made nice profits. It's it's a 3% return. Now you'd say, oh, 3%, what's 3%? 3% times 50 weeks is 150% return. So don't look down on 3% a week returns. They are, that is a massive return. It has a nice a win rate of 67%, which is about average for this type of robot. And let's go and have a look at the portfolio in a, in a bit more detail. So there's the portfolio. And if we sort them on equity, uh, there is the best performers. And you can see the Bell test 15, 12, 13, all those ones late in that table are actually performing pretty well. So let's have a look at that particular account and I'm going to click on it. And here we see the results. Let's just move that up a bit and then nice closed trades. Remember, it's a thousand dollar account. So there's a 22 percent return on this account in the first week. Uh, it is the euro pound. Why did we select the euro pound? The euro pound is one of the least trending and more sideways type of currencies. And if you look at previous videos, it's actually is the lowest volatility and lowest trendiness currency that you can trade. That is most probably the safest currency to trade. And as you can see, there are very few open trades. In fact, let's go and look at the open trades. There's only one open trade at the moment. And then let's have a look at the closed trades. And there are the closed trades. Let's see, let's look at the lot sizing. You see the lot sizing has been kept under control very nicely. No major lot sizing there. There's a, there's quite a big one that came in. The pips are nicely positive, And obviously the dollar amount is nicely positive. And to be fair, let's go and have a look at the worst account. So I've sorted this in equity order. And we go down, there's the lowest equity. It's quite a big drawdown. 
and uh, but there is a bit of a profit the drawdown nets off to about seven or eight percent so let's go and have a look at that and strangely enough this is also the euro pound so it shows you the difference in settings based on the look back period the time frame that that, that you're looking back on and this the differences in the settings can make a difference and this is what those 16 accounts are all about we are looking at which ones are doing well and why they are doing well and which ones are doing poorly and why they are doing poorly and we will adjust the settings on an ongoing basis to improve the the, the poor performers and obviously you leave the, the good performances alone so the next step will be to have a look at the actual settings. Now we do give the settings here in this table, so it's really nice. You can go and copy these settings straight away. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at the good performers and we're going to look at the poor performers and we're going to say, all right, which adjustments do we have to make to the poor performers to improve them? And what we will do is we'll actually change these tables on an ongoing basis on that one because we want to get all of these 16 counts nicely positive now as you can see they are actually already in total nicely positive but it would be nice to weed out the poor performers and let the and turn them into great performance so far very happy about the performance of the bell trader i hope this has given some of the owners an idea of which settings to focus on and to continue demo trading as you can see we are refining those settings on an ongoing basis to make them more robust just a reminder that the launch price has only 24 hours to go from the uh, publishing of this video so uh, please if you do not own the bell trader please make use of the great launch price links to items mentioned in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary so from me alex deployed cheerio